In this video, we'll be covering sine, cos, and tan of obtuse angles. Before we go into depth, let's have a quick revision of acute angles. So, if we talk about sine A, it is perpendicular over hypotenuse according to the given values. And cos A is base over hypotenuse, that is x over z. And tan A is perpendicular over base, which is y over x. Now, look at this second triangle. If the examiner asks you about the acute angles, acute angle at Q. So, sine of Q will be perpendicular over hypotenuse. Cos of Q will be base over hypotenuse and tan of Q will be perpendicular over base. But if the examiner is asking you about this obtuse angle at Q, that means sine of PQS or cos of PQS or tan of PQS, the obtuse angle. Before we go into this, have a look at these formulas, these identities. Sine theta is always equals to sine 180 minus theta. What does that mean? That is, if you check the value of sine 10 on your calculator, it would be exactly same as sine 170. But if you go for cos, cos 10 would be equal to negative cos of 170 and tan of 10 will be equal to negative tan of 170. You don't need in-depth knowledge of this for your O levels. Just have a look at this. Add sugar to coffee. A means all angles are positive. So if you punch in the value from 0 to 90 in your calculators, you'll get positive answers for all sine, cos and tan. And if you use value between 90 and 180 for sine, you will get a positive value. And for tan and cos, you will be getting negative values. Coming back to this question. So if the examiner is asking about sine PQS, this obtuse angle marked in red. You cannot answer this, but yes, you can come on the other side of this angle because it is a sum of 180. And you can answer sine Q, that is SQR, sine SQR, which is 4 by 5. For cos PQS, again the same angle as cos SQR, but due to this identity, we know that obtuse cos is negative. So when you look at the right hand side, cos is 3 by 5, but we'll be writing negative 3 by 5 and doing it directly for tan it is 4 by 3 but we will be adjusting a negative sign here let's go to some practice questions question number one the figure shows triangle ABC with the vertices A B and C as given and shown in the diagram the first demand of the question is to find the value of each of the following that is B C so I'm going for the length of B C using the distance formula there are two ways because I have the diagram so I can directly count that change in X is 2, change in Y is 3, so 2 square plus 3 square whole square root and 2 square plus 3 square is 13. For now I am keeping it in exact form not going into decimals. So that is square root 13. Then the Question says sine BCA. Now look at this. BCA is actually obtuse. We cannot answer for this obtuse. So we will go into this marked in red, this acute angle. And we know that sine stays the same. So for this, we knew that the length was under root 13. This length is 2 and this length is 3. So sine is perpendicular over hypotenuse and with the positive sign because for sine acute and obtuse both are positive now cos bca bca again this is obtuse but we cannot answer this so we jump to right hand side where my cursor is showing you the acute angle so cos is basically base over hypotenuse which makes it 2 by under root 13 2 by 
under root 13 but we will put a negative sign here because obtuse angle is negative in terms of cos then we have tan BAC tan BAC so now this is this angle so BAC you have to complete your triangle so this complete base is now 1 2 3 4 5 6 units and the height is 3 so tan is perpendicular over base which is 3 by 6 and you can simplify it to 1 by 2 example number 2 again it says find the value of each of the following bc bc again the length so from 2 to 5 the length is 3 and from 1 to minus 3 the length is 4 when you apply Pythagoras theorem, this is 3 square plus 4 square whole under the root, you get 5 units of length. Now sine BCA, again BCA is obtuse, we cannot answer that, so we will go for an acute angle and that is perpendicular over hypotenuse, perpendicular over hypotenuse and sine is positive in both the quadrants, obtuse and acute cos bca cos bca is this angle moving to right cos is base over hypotenuse that is 3 by 5 so 3 by 5 but we know that the initial angle was obtuse so you put a negative sign here then tan bac tan bac again it is this complete triangle making a base of from minus 3 to 5 this length is 8 and the vertical height is 4 so that is perpendicular over base which reduces to 1 by 2 thank you so much take care Allah Hafiz